news! The Habs have actually fired goaltending coach Stefan Waite. For those of you who do not know, he has been the goalie coach in Montreal since 2013. What did he do before that? Ah, nothing big. Just was with the Chicago Blackhawks for a decade where he won two Stanley Cups as their goaltending coach. Came for the Montreal at the start of the 13-14 season. What's really, really funny about that is if you look at Stefan Waite, um, if you know anything about the guy, he is has this reputation as being one of the best goalie coaches in the world. And it's really funny. If you look at 2013 onwards, is that not the start of when people started to call Carey Price the best goalie in the world? Of course, once you go to 2014, that's Carey on the Olympic roster, wins gold into the playoffs in 2014. That's when he single-handedly gets them to the conference finals before getting hurt. 14-15 season is when Carey wins the Vezina of the Heart with that 9.33 save percentage. The year after that starts the first 10 games of the season without, I think, having a regulation loss. Carey gets hurt, comes back the next year, still has like a 9.20 save percentage. So that weird sort of stretch, 2013 to 2017, when Waite really first came on board, was Carey Price's best time as a goalie, the best stretch of his career by far, one of the best goaltending stretches in history. So it begs the question, why? Why has Stefan Waite been fired? And Mark Bergeron is actually speaking to the media right now. So as I'm shooting, this quotes are coming out. And apparently, basically we can say is that they needed a change. Um, there is a very telling quote, I thought, uh, that where, again, Bergeron defense price calls him the best goalie in the world, but he needs help. You know, we see with normal coaches, especially head coaches, that eventually the message wears off. And players just sort of hear one thing going one ear and out the other, right? And I wonder if looking at a guy who's been part of this team since 2013, the Golding Department, if maybe the message just isn't working with Carey anymore. Apparently he was not Carey Price's and was not consulted about the decision. Mark Bergeron made it very clear that if he consulted his players about moves, he would be doing his job wrong, which I very much agree with. You love to see it. I don't think players getting involved in decisions in the NHL has ever really worked out. Um, so, uh, AK, look at the Blackhawks saying, get the boys together, we want Brandon Saad, and then the other way, winner, Timmy Panarin. And the Blackhawks have not been the same since. So, Stefan Waite will be replaced by Sean Burke, who has actually worked for Montreal in the scouting department. He's also had some Team Canada experience. He's kind of one of these, like, GMs and waiting, you can kind of say, interviewed for Seattle, fun fact. So, he's... He's been around. What's also kind of strange about Sean Burke is, so, of course, new goalie coach. He will also be the director of goaltending, which is a new department now being made in Montreal. Apparently, there's not much long-term details, right, that Bergman's talking about. Um, but we know Sean Burke will be part of it. And he's been known, Sean Burke, as a goalie whisperer and his time in Arizona when he sort of helped turn around Mike Smith's career. If you notice, if you look at his sort of layout, Devin Dubnik, remember him? <laughs> a former Hab. He, when he went to Arizona, actually had a very, very good time there. His stats were great. And I think he went to Minnesota. And it might have been the year or two after he got there, he was a Vesna finalist. Did not win because that just happened to have been the year that Carey Price won it. So there is history that Sean Burke has, you know, had this special way with goalies. He's a former goalie himself, actually. Long stretch in the NHL. Wasn't, you know, the best if you look on paper. But, again, isn't it funny how the grunts are always the best coaches? Maybe not the best goalies or the best goalie coaches. I don't know. But Stefan Waite going is... I, I don't know. I just I have this bad feeling about Sean Burke. I can't sit here and tell you any sort of numbers or such that are going to tell me otherwise. Because, again, his work in Arizona speaks for itself. But, I mean, there's some personal stuff in history about Sean Burke that I am personally not a fan of. Uh, though, you know, there is another reason why you can look at the Stefan Wade firing here. And it is the, the key that Mark Bergevin's biggest job, his number one priority is to do whatever he can to help Carey Price. Jake Allen, too, but let's be honest. Carey's got, I think, five years after this left on his deal at 33 years old right now. Uh, Bergevin's job is to get as much as possible for Carey and to be able to put him in the best position to be the best goalie he can be. And maybe he sees that now with Sean Burke, and he can do that. Again, Mike Smith is still playing at 39, 29, sorry. No, 30, yeah, 39 years old. 
And he's playing really, really, really well for the Oilers right now. He only just lost his first game against the Leafs a few nights ago. Came into relief again for uh, Miko Koskinen in, in the other Leafs game and didn't allow a goal in that in relief. So I mean, I mean, there's something there. There's something there. I mean, he, you can see this effect of Sean Burke when he comes in. He just sort of revitalizes the goaltenders. I, I don't know. I hope it works out, obviously, because I want Carey to to be good again. And, I mean, he was good last night. I should be here talking about Dominic Ducharme's first win as a Montreal Canadiens head coach, where Carey Price only allows one goal, and I thought was pretty solid last night. Not too tested, but a win's a win, and the Canadians needed that. But instead, what becomes really strange is apparently the decision was made in the second period. The news came out, and it was only after that that Bergevin told the players... And it was after he told the players after Carey Price had spoken to the media. Now I didn't get to see Price's his presser, so I don't know if he knew when he was asked about it. But apparently, after Mark Bergevin speaks and after practice, they are talking to Carey Price. So I'm sure we'll have answers there. But I really wanted to get this this video out now, unless it just happens right now. We're gonna see some stuff. I'm checking Twitter as we go. Mark Bergevin, by the way. Um, He's always a delight to listen to his press conferences because, man, he just, he'll just he give his answers and that's it. He's a great quote. Straight to it. A few more little tidbits, quotes that are coming out. Uh, Bergevin says, Director of Goaltending Sean Burke should be on the ice for the morning skate of March 19th when Canucks are in town. That's from John Liu of TSN. Uh, that's important and you're probably wondering, wait, why is it taking so long? Ah, 14-day quarantine because, you know what? COVID's still a thing. No vaccines here in Canada. Also, uh, from Eric Angles, Mark Bergevin says Dominic Ducharme did not come to him asking for a change of goaltending coaches. He was consulted, though. That's interesting. It's also been made clear a lot of these quotes that apparently it was not... There's no fight or argument between price and weight. I wouldn't imagine that either. I'm sure if there was, we would have known about it. A lot happening. A lot happening here in Montreal. Um, I guess a quick note on the game last night, too. Big win! Yeah! Great defensive play from Montreal, I thought. Yes, Barry Kotkinemi is great, isn't he? But Joel Edmondson had his best game. Austin Watson sucks. Um, that should have been a penalty on Jonathan Druin. Who also, Jonathan Druin. Uh, hell, hello, how you Druin? Love you. Um, all right, then. I think that's going to be everything. I don't know when I'll see you next. I don't know. I like these news videos. They're fun. Weird, though. Really, really weird. I like Stefan Waite. I like what he did for this team. I like what he did with Carey Price over the years. But you know what? The the gut feeling I have against Sean Burke aside, I, I hope he succeeds. I hope Carey Price, you know what, has a bounce back here. I love the guy. Uh, Carey Price, that is. And we'll see where this goes. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like it. You should subscribe to the channel. So then every time you're on YouTube and I upload a new video, it shows up in your subscription feed. Or you can hit the notification bell. That's down there. And you'll know every time I upload a video, you'll get a notification. Leave a comment down below. I want to know your guys' thoughts here. How does Carey play for the rest of the season? How does this goaltending department sort of work out? We've kind of seen it start to shape out in Florida, actually, under uh, Roberto Lalongo. Maybe it's a new thing coming. The Habs, they want to be at the front of this goaltending stuff, right? It's, it's important, goalies. You ever heard of that? Don't get a save, you suck. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you next time.